If you're new here, my name is Karen. I'm decluttering my basement. There's no time to waste. Let's get decluttering. I had my husband take boxes off of these shelves because they were too heavy for me. He's put them on the floor and these are boxes of that belong to my kids and so I'm going to be putting the stuff in clear boxes, putting them back up and labeled. I also want to make sure I do one of the small boxes of photos to keep that project up and then I'm also decluttering my spring summer clothes that I have stored down here. I'm starting off, I have this green box and I already know there's something pretty long in it so I'm going to be transferring it to this long box that's here. These are collectibles of my daughter Rachel. She's my older daughter and she had American Girl dolls growing up and so she wants to pass these things on someday to her daughter. the box that you can see and she has one and you can't see because of lighting but there's a second cradle right this under here. This is the stage I'm in for getting this basement to a place where I want it to be. I want everything in a clear box that's labeled that is being kept. I don't mind storing things for people but I need it organized so that if we ever did move or if they were to move it would be super easy to isolate out what is theirs and take that box right out loaded on a truck so that is the goal and you can see whoa that pretty much filled things right up didn't it i wonder if it would fit better Ooh, or this way does this fit was this box i guess this box might be a little bit more narrow than the other one it looked about the same but it isn't this even going to work? What I could do is split these two up into two different boxes, which is what it's looking like right now. Unless this, nope. Wow. That's okay. We'll just keep plugging. I know this is the biggest box I have, so we'll fit things in and around the cradle because you can see up here she has more things that also belong to her American Girl dolls. I'm going to go ahead and bring these things down if I can get this out of the way. I always have to remind myself to slow down because so much of what you do as a YouTuber is sped up. Sometimes I forget that it's my editing software that's speeding it up, but I don't need to go that fast. Whoa! Well, these are actually a box of keepsakes of hers, so that's not what it is. Nothing fits in here, but this crazy. I can do this. I will overcome. There we go. That worked. Let me get the drawer back in. One reason we stopped storing things in our attic, which was where this was, if you didn't see my attic declutter, I can leave it linked, is because there were signs of critters in the attic. And because my cats are down here a lot of the time, I don't have to worry as much down here in the basement, they keep things good. And also, I feel like the more you declutter, the less habitat you're giving to critters. I'm gonna look in these boxes and see if there's anything else of hers that would fit in this box. Oh, that's not even hers. Does this, this is why I need to get things labeled. These are all my son Fran's Legos. So once I get this box, I'm gonna lay the Legos out, take pictures, he's in college, and I'm gonna ask him what, if any, of these Legos he would like to keep. Because, and I do remember doing this. One thing I did do was I put each of his projects in a Gladlock bag so that, you know how it is if you just just throw the Legos back in a box. You're never going to be able to recreate this project again. All right, because I do have a box of his mementos and more stuff will fit in that. So we'll take care of that in just a minute. That means I can go into this box and I definitely see this blanket could go in there. This was something I knit for her. Every winter I would knit a blanket. And then some sketchbooks. This is a box of mementos, birthday cards. 
she chose to keep. We'll put that in there. The stuffy. That can go in there. This is one of the reasons I like using see-through boxes is even if I'm not the best at labeling, you can see through to see what is in the box. So she's got various little stuffies and dolls. Ah, These are some embroidery things, so I can fit these if they're out of the bag. I'm actually going to take a picture because I want to show her that she has these winter hats. She might have wanted these this year. And see, there was a few years ago we thought we were moving and we packed. And whatever we didn't need, because it was warm weather season, we put in storage. Then at some point, maybe when it was when I did my declutter last February, I realized that this area, which is under our office slash den, is bigger than the storage unit that I was paying for. So then I realized I just need to empty this out and set up shelves and make my own storage unit in here and save myself the money because what we were doing is taking, you know, the stuff we didn't need, putting it in storage so that our house looked looser and it was easier to show, which I do think is a good idea. But a better idea is if I declutter and my house looks loose because I don't have so much crap in it. <laughs> that's all that's going in here. All right, I got too much in here. Maybe. This might not be the best box. I might get another one to replace this because it's just a little out of shape. So rather than unpack and repack, what I'm actually going to do is take a picture so that I have the measurements and then I can get a new one and transfer it over. I'm actually taking my daughter's shopping today, so today will be an ideal time. Just grab another box. But what I like about this one, watch this, is it fits in this area perfectly. I can't lift it over my head though, so we'll put it a little lower. Look at this. Also, the little sticker that has the size is right there. That will help me. I wonder what I did with my labels. What I'm going to do now is what I said is I'm going to uh, put Fran's Lego kits all out. Take a photo or a video. Actually, I'll do a little video. Send that to him and see if he would like to keep it. Oh, and you're going to want to watch my... That's not even his. That was mine. I had that on a wall. I know I'm not keeping that. One thing I want to remember to put in my next cleaning video, my next spring clean, is he sent me the funniest video. Oh, this isn't his either, so I can get rid of this. He sent me a video of himself cleaning and reorganizing his college dorm room sped up with music. So somebody asked me in the Q&A, and you're going to see that soon, all that, if how it has affected my family. And I'm like, okay, my college son is making cleaning videos. That is how it has affected my family. Don't you love that? So I'm going to show that to you. So if you're watching this later, look for the video, the spring cleaning video that went up February 28th. And there you will see my 18-year-old son doing his own cleaning video. Remember we did this in my last video. It was super successful because I got an answer right away. But he might be in classes. All right, so now I'm going to send him a message. Do you want to keep your Lego sets and your star clock. This is one of those ones that puts like stars on the ceiling. It's a smaller box, so I'm gonna put those in there until I hear from him. And then if he wants to get rid of everything, I can just take this box to Goodwill with all of it in here. Wouldn't that make some little kids so happy? Maybe, you know, there's a mom out there who can't really afford presents for her kids. I like to think of that way. And she comes and sees this 
at Goodwill, and now she can afford something really nice for her child. This is empty. So a lot of the stuff is wall hangings, art projects. Just keep going, putting stuff in the box that fits in here, in here. And then one of these days, I will schedule a time for her to come down and go through her stuff. Empty box. Of course, these are great for taking things to Goodwill. This one is marked fragile. This one will fit in here. Will this? Oh, yeah. Well, no. It won't. Almost. So this is mostly decor. I'll give you this as an idea. One thing I did for her high school graduation, I got these really lightweight blocks and I wrote out her name and then I put photos throughout the years on these and I used it as a decoration for her graduation party. Oh, so cute. I can't remember where I got the idea. Pretty sure it's not original to me though. Maybe it was a Pinterest thing. Let's see how many I can fit. Probably this is going to be it. Yep, yeah, that's it for that one. Oh, I think she's been looking for these. These are her albums. Oh, yeah, her albums and her record player. Why am I not labeling, you might ask? Well, it's because I can't find my labels. <laughs> All right, this one's pretty light. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up top. Since I can lift it. And now, let's see if her record player will fit. Yep, then I think she wants her albums. So I'll set these on top. It, okay, I just got and I want to show you. So exciting. I just got a response. Look at that beautiful word. Nope. So now that box is in the Goodwill pile. Send them a picture, even if they're living with you. I think I'm gonna send pictures to the ones who are living with me too and be like, I didn't wanna make you come down to the basement and I was just was wondering if you wanted to keep this. Oh, there's my labels on the floor. Awesome, so awesome. That's not the lid. All right, so the lids, I'm missing two lids. So I don't know if I had two that didn't have lids and I used the lids for this or what I did. So for this moment, I'm gonna cover it with this plastic, knowing I'm coming back to it today. Because I am buying more boxes up here. Ugh. All right, so this belongs to my son who's not living here. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom. No, this is hers too. Oh wow, all oh, this is hers. Okay, this is his. So this is going to the bottom. Or maybe it'll go here beside France. Let's do that. So this could be the boy shelf. This could be her shelf. I'm gonna move this up here because I can lift it. This one doesn't have a lid, but I'm gonna fill it anyway. So I can finish what I'm doing and move on to other things I want to declutter. And then my goal is that today I am going to make sure either I have a new box for this or I have found the lid. Whoa, I need to go look where my empty boxes are. Yeah, that's not going to fit. So this is going up here. I don't have a box that fits for now. It's wooden. It'll be fine. These mementos, I think, oh yeah, I'm bringing her albums up to her. So this little stuff is all that's left. And this is an empty box. Covering this one also with plastic and putting it here. So I can go back to 
to it. I want to make sure I got labels on everything. Do five that say Rachel? All right, and then I had one box over here that I didn't label for my son. And I'm just going to put his initials here. Not perfect, but this is what we have created today, and I'm super excited about it. Yes, that label is out, so I remembered the size to get a new one. That is so much better, right? And so now we know this is all hers. So when she wants to come down and declutter her stuff, it's all there waiting for her and it'll be nice and easy. I put the lighter things on top, the heavier things on the bottom, but I think there's only one there that might be a bit heavy. I need more clear boxes. Oh yeah, that belongs to Rachel too. So I am going to move that down here. And so then this will all belong to the boys here. Then this is my homeschool, uh, what else? The crafts, the gift wrap, that sort of stuff is here. There is a box of my off season clothes. I'm gonna go through that next because it's about time to bring warm clothes down. So we'll see. Right. Plus I'm gonna be visiting my son in the South in a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks at the most. So, I'm just going to go through this really quickly and see if there's anything I know. I kind of, this I'm on the edge with. If I could find, I mean, it's pretty. I don't know. I guess I should keep it. These are hard for me because I'm not really a clothes person. Oh, this jacket, love that. All right. So I'm seeing that everything was pretty recently purchased in here. So... I am going to be keeping it. I think the only things I don't like are upstairs, actually. This one's a little loud and obnoxious. Tell me in the comments if I should keep this shirt. That's the only one I'm kind of on the fence about. I have a dress in here I don't love, but it's the only, literally, I don't wear dresses hardly ever, unless it's a special occasion. It's the only dress I have, so I am going to keep it because I would wear it unless I found another one. So if there was an event, I would look for another dress I liked better, but if I didn't find one, I would wear that. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to move this. I do like to keep these labels because they show me sizes. So if I'm looking for the same size, maybe I'll just use another label on the other side. If I'm looking for the same size tote, then I want to, I don't want to lose that label. That's why I don't take them off. Well, that was easy. And I don't think I could call that decluttering. Can you call it decluttering if you don't get rid of anything? Okay. I wanted to show you this because... I knew these boxes were in the corner, obviously, they're obvious. And I thought that they were drum stuff, but they're actually, can you see? These are all Barbie things that belong to my younger girls. I know they're getting rid of them. But I remember having my son, I said, put them beside the shelves, and he thought I meant there, which is wedged. So I'm gonna have my husband Robin come down, but I will tell you, unless I'm wrong about one of these, all three of those, one, two, three, are going, and that feels great. Then I found this box that was like my son's desk before he got married, and I'm gonna go through it real quick. I'm gonna go through it real quick because I know there's stuff in here he would probably keep, but I also know there's stuff in here like gum. <laughs> He's been married over a year. That even if he wanted to keep it's not any good, and I know he wouldn't want to keep it. So, you know, little things that are trash, that are obvious trash, I'm going to get rid of. This is actually, I might want to keep these boxes, because that's what the wedding rings came in. So I'll keep those for now. This is the keep pile. And then, like, Seriously. And this is a throwaway pile. So he's got things people gave him. I know he'll want those. Um, and then there's other things in here 
that are literal trash. Amazon card. Blank paper that is all bent. You know, most of this is trash. So I'm just pulling out stuff that's not trash, letting them decide on that. And the rest is broken. Oh my goodness, more gum. I know what this stuff is. Some of it's like stocking stuffers I did for him. And there was never a kid that you were wasting more money on with a stocking stuffer than him. He's just not gonna use that stuff. Whoa, Take a picture of that. All right, the rest is junk. So this stuff, I'm gonna put in this box, but I have boxes behind the camera that he's gonna go through, so it's gonna go with that. You notice I'm sitting down. I'm gonna quickly go through this box of photos. So I have the three kids that they should have pictures of here. Anything my husband and I would want here. And I'm just gonna see how quickly I can rifle through these. And we're keeping negatives aside. So what I'm doing, and I said this in my last video, is anything that is of the three of them or of more than one of them, is going aside and then I'll see how many I have of each one or what everybody wants to decide then if it's a picture that's not flattering if it's of just scenery with no people or it's just animals or something that means nothing to anyone then I will get rid of it but just seeing how quickly and then they'll each get their box with the understanding that if they don't want something they can just get rid of it like here is a picture of my husband with a birthday cake. I don't even know whose birthday this was anymore. So this one's going. Because there's enough pictures here that people don't need to have ones that are not of good quality. Or pictures of people that aren't in my life anymore. I'm going to finish this box on my own rather than let you make you go through all of it. But if you would have rathered I go through all of it with you, let me know. Because there's plenty up there left. And there'll be a phase two to this process when I let the kids go through it and such. So remember, as always, God loves you. I love you too. Can't wait to see you next time.